in this tutorial, we are going to cover how to filter only weekdays from a row of dates in Google Sheets. So what do I mean by weekdays? So I mean any day from Monday through to Friday, or we might want to filter just the weekends only. Now, if you want to play along, there's a copy of the starter sheet in the link in the description below. Make a copy and open it up. And once you do, head down to the bottom uh, Google Sheet tab and click on weekday date, and we'll be ready to get started. I'll see you there. Okay, you're back, awesome. So. How do we get a weekday in Google Sheets? So on my left-hand side here, I have a range of data that has names in, one, in column A and dates in column B. Now, just for your convenience, I've highlighted the weekends here in purple, just so you can see what we're going to omit. So the first thing we need to do is to figure out how to define what day of the week each one of these dates rests upon. So how do we do that in Google Sheets? Well, we can use the weekday function here and the week date takes a date so let's just grab this date up the top here for example and this one is displaying five at the moment so the 18th of the first 2024 let's go and have a look at what that is on my little date over here so 18th of the first obviously we're starting with the day then the month then the year it's what we do in australia and uh, the commonwealth uh, in US, Philippines, and Canada, I know you swap it around. No worries, you're smart enough to do the mental rotation. I trust you. So let's crack on. So the 18th of January is just here, which is going to be a Thursday. So Thursday is an indicator that it's five. So if we go back 18, so five, four, three, two, one, the day of the week starts on Sunday, which will be familiar to you if you're from the United States. But in fact, in Australia, the day of the week starts on Monday. I'm not being pedantic or anything, but it's going to be super helpful for us if we start our day of the week on a Monday instead of a Sunday. And fortunately, weekday can help us out with that by having this optional type parameter here. It allows us to add in an extra type. Now, if I type in two here, then our date here, Thursday, is going to start on a four. And if we go back four days to one, that will be Monday. Now this is going to be really useful for us uh, for our formula in a moment. So I'm gonna hit tab just so you can see what's going on. You can see here, I've got Thursday here. I'm just using a little switch function so you can see what the, what the dates are just for your convenience. Now, if I change my dates around from my list up the top here, you can see a two is going to be a Tuesday, 27th with six is a Saturday and a seventh is a Sunday. Now this is handy for us because that allows us to grab anything less than a six, and that will be a day of the week, a work day, Monday through Friday. Anything greater than a five will be a weekend. So we can use that to our advantage when we uh, work out our calculations a little bit later. So how can we apply this weekdays to an entire range? Well, we can do that with the array formula function. So I'm just gonna grab this weekday over here so typically, if we just typed in week, weekday, and then I applied the entire range to this column B, so that would be B to B to, to B94. So you can see that's only displaying one day, and that's not what we're looking for. So we can use the array formula function here to iterate through each item in the range. So array formula. And then on the back here, we'll close the brackets and hit tab. We've got all the days of the week as a number for each of the dates in our range. Awesome. Let's apply this to our filter. So if we want to filter a weekday, what are we going to do? So first, we will start with our filter. So we'll filter. And then the range we want to display, which is going to be A2 to B94. And then our condition is going to be this array formula condition over here. So let's just type it in quickly. And then it was weekday. And then the date range, which is going to be B2 to B94. Then don't forget to add in the two. So everything, so the week starts on a Monday and then close the brackets here and to close our array formula. And then we want to state that we only want to show anything that is less than six or less than a Saturday. 
and then close the brackets and hit enter. So let's do a little bit of a cross check now. So we don't want to display the 20th of January or the 21st. Is that here? No, it's not. Let's go down a little bit. What about the 27th? Is that available? No, 25th and 29th. Cool. Third and fourth. Nope, that's not there either. And lastly, the 10th. Is that available? No, 9th and 12th. Awesome. Our formula worked out perfectly. So how do we do the weekends? Well, it's super simple now. Let's uh, go up to our formula bar, hit Control A to select all, and Control C to copy. And then we'll tab over a couple of times till we get to cell L6, back into our formula bar, and Control V to paste. And all we need to change now is our condition, which is now going to be, we want to display anything greater than five. And hit tab. So now we have our weekends displayed only now. So the 20th, the 21st, 27th, 3rd and 4th of Feb, and the 10th of Feb, just like we have on the left-hand side in purple here. Okay, so that's it for filtering only weekdays in Google Sheets using a date. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, subscribe. Until next time.